Welcome back. Always happy to have Heidi with Curiosity out of North Mankato in studio today. And we're going to learn a little bit, a bit about kombucha today. Uh, let's start with what it is. So kombucha is a tea-based beverage um, that is fermented. And so people would drink it for the health ben benefits of anything that's fermented. Um, and it also has very low sugar, even though it mm. needs sugar mm. to feed the, the yeast bacteria to make it grow. Okay, so um, when you mentioned health benefits, what would some of those be? So it's, it is low sugar. Like for example, a bottle this size has less than 30 calories. Mm. So instead of nice. picking up a 16 ounce pop that's gonna have a lot of sugar and a lot of calories, that's gonna be very low sugar, low calories. But it also, because it's made from tea, it has anti-inflammatory properties, it has amino acids, polyphenols, all the things that you know, we don't talk about every day but that are good for our bodies. It's been around for quite a while. Actually over 2,000 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> so BC, it goes back to <laughs> BC time that there's recordings of people making this. So it starts with a culture and it takes about seven to 14 days for mm -hmm. it to mature um, to be the point of what you would drink. Mm -hmm. So it's on the acidic side though. So it's like your vinegars, your citric, um, the, uh, fruit juices, um, so you're gonna smell a vinegar smell, you're gonna taste a mm. vinegar taste. So you kind of have to like that, I think, to like it. Um, and then it can be flavored anyway. The kombucha we sell at our shop is made from green tea. Some of it's made from black tea, but ours is green tea. So it, then of course the antioxidants are a little higher. Um, and then they flavor it with whatever flavors. So you're drinking one of oh. our kombuchas on tap today. It's a yeah, cherry basil. Cheers. Cherry so it's a basil. little bit more on the savory side than the sweet side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't consider it, it doesn't taste like tea to me. So no, it almost tastes yeah. like a, a carbonated water. Or, mm -hmm. or some people say they're like, they taste like a hard cider almost yeah. oh, without yeah. the alcohol. There that. is a little mm -hmm. bit of alcohol, but we can't serve alcohol, so it has to be below 0.05%. Oh, okay. So there is a little alcohol that's in the process. Okay. Um, can you Wait, drink uh, it daily? Oh, sorry, daily like you would tea? So or? you can, but um, so different studies say different things. And of course, everybody's different. So mm -hmm. you have to do what works for you because it's a little more on the acidic side. If acids bother you oh. a little bit, you maybe wouldn't drink as much. But some of the, and there aren't as many studies on kombucha as I thought there would be. There's way more on tea mm. than there are studies on kombucha, but um, it can help gut health. And so by drinking just four ounces a day, or four ounces in the morning and then in later in the evening. So even though we, th it's often sold in 16 ounce bottles, um, maybe you wanna you know, spread that out throughout mm -hmm. the week or throughout a couple of days. Sure, do you see it's pretty popular among it people? It is pretty or? popular and especially in the summer, people want something that's not so sweet, that's mm -hmm. really refreshing that they can drink or take with them and, and um, enjoy. Where's the name come from? So we, uh, the kombucha, I actually don't know that name, oh, where oh, it comes from. I, I did not look that up. Oh, that's okay. We can Google, <laughs> Google is our you friend. You can Google it. I know I didn't yeah. Google that information. But, what were you going to say? Uh, we, s we get our kombucha from a husband and wife team out of St. Paul. So oh, okay, it's bottled cool. right here in Minnesota. Um, we previously had another um, husband and wife team that had done theirs out of Winona. And then during COVID, they went a different way. So now we're getting ours from um, Deanna's Kombucha out of St. Paul. And if someone has never been to Curiosity, it really is, uh, you have tea from everywhere. A lot of different places, yeah. So um, tea, of course, isn't grown in the U.S. So the green tea that they get is an organic green tea from elsewhere, somewhere in the, in the world. Um, but then they try to use all local ingredients mm -hmm. to make the rest of it. So, but yeah, we have tea from everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, l let's tell people where you're located really quick. 1745 Commerce Drive right here in North Mankato. All right, thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thank we'll you. We'll have more when we come back on Cato Living. Stay with us.